Hey everybody here at the Academy here in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. We're gonna just go through a little bit of a tour, show you our upgrades. We just made some fantastic changes with the uh, help of zebra mats. They pretty much outfitted the whole Academy, so we're gonna, it's gonna be like a brand new thing as opposed to our, our last one, which again was already pretty dang nice, but they just put it up to another notch. So let's uh, head on in. Basically we got, uh, come in, we got a normal, uh, our front desk area, got Colleen working hard, Andy pushing it over the top here. Here we got our uh, pro shop, t-shirts, DVDs, patches, all the uniforms you'll need for uh, training at the academy. And here we got a little bit of a, a break room. Guys can come here, take a little bit of a break. It's also a lot of our literature up there that has been uh, kind of wrote about the academy, some of its uh, key players, obviously like Sean Shirk, got myself up there, mostly Sean Shirk, but some of the female fighters, you got Caitlin, one of our just students who was a jeweler as well. Uh, so a lot of it obviously you see is what Sean and some of the magazines and you know we got our, our one here where Fighter Magazine put us in uh, the top 20 magazine MMA gyms in America in which we were uh, number five. So that was pretty cool considering all the top gyms that are around here so pretty pumped about that and that was April 2010 here we are already September 2011 so we got even higher numbers better facility than then right there it is live action There's a little bit of uh, stuff going on there yes buying the pop buying the drink and as we come in let's whip on over this way so we're coming through we're going to I always got to keep it clean. So you got Nat in the background over there. But you know, when we go to a, a gym, you're always wondering about whether it's real, what do, you got, what do you got going in there? And literally, with our gym, if you look at, you know, it's a UFC fighting, highest level fighters in America gym. You know, we got a lot of guys, which all comes down to this stuff. This is kind of some of our hardware. We got two of our three UFC belts that have been won out of the gym, plus all of our other stuff, IKF, you know, Muay Thai, Extreme Challenge, MMA. So a lot of it here is between MMA and Thai boxing, right? So a lot of our major belts have been through either professional USA or even international, you know, Muay Thai and or obviously MMA competition. So it's a huge thing. And obviously, this is some of our stuff of our different arts that we do. Obviously, we're known a lot for our MMA. Dave Manet, you know, Sean Shirk, Brock Lesnar. We've had, right now, Jacob Volkman, Nick Lentz. You got Pat Barry. You know, a lot of fighters that are currently fighting the UFC, plus all the other up-and-comers. But we also have a very stellar Muay Thai background. We fought in the Prince's Cup. We fought in all over the, you know, all over the world, all over the country, Holland, Japan, Ireland, Thailand, Canada, all throughout the United States. So we've really, again, put ourselves on a map with Muay Thai as well. Then of course Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We've had guys uh, medal, those was Pan Am medals. We've had people medal in the Mundials down in uh, you know, Brazil. We've had people medal all over the country. You know, a lot of Naga medals. So we've really kept it at a high pace. And of course, we stay with our, with our heritage, you know, with the Filipino martial arts under Guru Dan and Santo. And of course, uh, the Jean Fan, Ji Kune Do. And that really kind of, uh, kind of how we look at everything. You know, absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. And that's what builds all of our fighters up. So as we walk through here, this is a lot of our, the fight posters. We got the women's locker room in this area too. So they have their own locker room. They have their own bathroom in there. So they kind of can do their own thing. It's kind of our war room. This is where all of our, the business is done behind the scenes. You know, we go computer work, all that stuff. Stuff that I pass off real fast. Working some office areas in here. We're getting this going. This is going to be another uh, office for people to hang out in. This is going to be like a private room right here so we can do private instructions, right? So we're working on this one. We're going to be just pretty much it's functional. We just need mirrors and a couple of things in there, all right? So then we come to our, our weight area, all right? In this area, we got pretty much everything we need, all right? You got kettlebells. You got the whole rogue weight system here. You got regular weight racks. You got the ropes. You have 
treadmills, you got bars, you got everything you possibly need to uh, get fit for a fight. In fact, uh, all of our fighters just train, a lot of them train right out of here, so it's everything you possibly need. So you got that stuff going, all right? Kettlebells, this, that. Then this is where it really kind of fans out. Right now we got um, probably one of the, the nicest mat, mat areas to roll in, in a, definitely the entire state for sure, but even who knows, might be across the, the country, some of the most mat area around. Of course, this is Zebra, the MMA smooth mat. So those guys without the geese, they can be rolling full out and not be getting all you know, cut up by the tatami mat. All of our walls are, are padded with the Zebra wall pads, all right? So that's all good to go. And right from here, we got, when the guys want to work the cage, they have the Zebra cage panels right here, all right? So everything that you'd possibly need for fighting in MMA, right here, all right? So this is where kind of all the stuff is done. If you're wondering where the MMA fighters are training, when we're doing our full out classes, our full out MMA training, that's right here. This is where it happens. This is the, the war room, all right? Right here, that's where we throw all of our dummies, all right? That's our little cage right there. If you look in there, we got a variety of different dummies, all different sizes, shapes, whatever. It's just a way to, to storm, get them off the mat so these guys can roll and have nothing to run into, all right? Now we go into our, our second side or our, our main gym, and this is the zebra tatami mat. All right, so again, that's the mat which has the tatami surface. This is where we, uh, that's where a lot of, you know, obviously jujitsu competition is going to be, you know, competed on that. But what we do there is uh, we do a lot of our striking over here. We found that this surface is really good for their feet so they can hang onto it a little bit better and uh, they're not slipping around. It's just a really good surface for, for um, kicking. Chris, we have all the tie pads going on there. All right, so tie pads. Have a wall bag, got tight, you got the speed bags. Right here we got again the, the wall rack, right? This this heavy bag rack. It's again it's a zebra mats, works this. And if you look at this, which is really nice, these uh, we can take every one of these bags, push and move it. So we can move all these bags wherever we want. We could push them all down, push them all back, lock them right in the spot wherever we wanted to move them. So that really is pretty cool. So sometimes we want to work, get all these bags slid off, we'll just push them all to the side, or we can spread them out nice and even as they are right now, all right? So again, that was done by, by Zebra Mats as well. So they put up this, they uh, have their own bag line now, and so everything's set right there. In addition, uh, you need, you, we fight Thai boxing, so we need a ring. So we got a ring, but what's different about our ring and a lot of rings, we, just like the pride ring, these are actual steel cables under here. Steel cable, and then they're covered by uh, just regular thick garden hose, and then it has the, the pad over the top. So these don't stretch, these don't give. I mean, it is just like the same cables that you'd see in the pride ring. So it's, a, it's really good, it's really, we don't have to keep tightening things, so it's awesome. And again, zebra mats really, uh, kind of set us up with all this stuff with this where they gave us a new ring pad here all this cables right here it's easy to clean since you see this is vinyl so it gets all sweat we can clean it off real fast we don't have to worry about it getting caught in the cloth all right so again that's an important aspect of things all right we got two more of these we're, we're in the process you see all those old geese right there they're probably going to be in that bag pretty soon all right but that's like, again we're stuffing the, the big bags and I was telling you, Pat Berry said he loves the big bags because he can just wail on those kicks, doesn't have to worry about his injury in his shin. And actually, with the big, with the big bags like that, which we got from Fairtex, it's, it's uh, very uh, easy on your legs. It's easier to teach beginners how to kick on those bags because they don't swing around, they don't accidentally wrap their knees, they don't hurt as much. So remember with beginners, you gotta ease their way in. So that's what we do. So this is another pole that we're gonna be filling up with another bag, which we got, and then we're gonna put a third one in as well. So we're gonna have three of those bags. So along with those bags, these bags, there's a lot of, lot of stuff to strike with. So you don't need to be any partners. You don't have to be anything. You just gotta show up, which is the magic formula anyways, guys. If you wanna be good, you show up, all right? So then get regular pads and all this. And we got our locker room. Locker room, 
Same as any other locker room, got a lot of room in here so we can, a lot of people changed. Before this we had basically half of this and then it was the girls locker room and it was packed. It was a little uncomfortable. Right now it's open so we have a lot of, a lot of room. So as we're walking through, again, coming down, we have our bathroom, sink, you know, the drinking fountains, bathroom. Got a shower here for people that uh, want to shower. Got to get to work, get in their shower, and of course we have uh, the room full of buckets and cleaning stuff. One of the biggest things that, uh, if you notice here, this gym is very clean. We really pride ourselves on having a clean, clean gym. So not only is it one of the highest uh, level functional gyms in America, you know, considering all the fighters that we have, but it's also one of the you know, more professional gyms in the fact that it's really clean. We have a lot of students that are just here just to uh, have fun. You know, a lot of people are, we're known for our fighters, but you know, obviously we, we have a ton more students. You know, we're going 400 plus students right now, and we have what, 20 some fighters. So it's obviously we have a lot more students. So that's the whole thing. We wanna make sure that people understand that they can come here at any level, beginning level, intermediate level, advanced level, you want to come all the way up to the professional fighter, we can handle it all, we can take care of it all, and that's what really what we're, our, our goal is, is to be able to take everybody and just improve the quality of their life through the martial arts. So that's, uh, again, a little tour of the academy there. It's a lot of room, 11,000 square feet, and a lot of open mat space, and that's, that's our goal, have as much mat space as we can for the people to roll in. All right, hope you guys had a Little, little glimpse in here to tour so you see how they, and where these guys train. Hope you get in here and start training. That's the number one thing. And again, we have people coming from all over the country, so hop on in. In fact, even internationally. So hop in, give it a whirl, start training with us, and share. We always take, we always give. That's our goal. All right? Take it easy. Have a good day, guys.